of the great stories so far of the season has been Hendrick Mole, Ryan. And you got a chance to sit down and talk to him about the incredible story of him being able to even play. Yeah, he's gone through a lot of adversity. In fact, Hendrick Mole went to bed one night playing what he described as the best volleyball in his life to suddenly having everything change. I woke up on the morning after with just a massive headache around my eye and I was unable to see out of my left eye. The hardest part was probably not knowing what was going on. It was a pretty significant eye doctor saying that it was, you know, like getting struck by lightning. They hadn't seen, they were really searching for uh, a solution. Like what was it and how do we make this better? Midway through the 2015 men's volleyball season, Hendrick Mole's perspective on life would forever be changed. His left eye suffered an aggressive bacteria infection that doctors believe was linked to the use of his contact lens. I, I was out for a couple of months and I didn't do anything. I was, I was sick, I was in a lot of pain. I took medications daily, a ton of eye drops. And um, I hadn't moved myself out of the bed for like two months. Hendrick was flown up to the UCLA Medical Center to receive specialized aid. After months of treatment, thousands of eye drops and numerous doctor's appointments, Mole regained five to 10% of his peripheral vision. Doctors presented the option of a corneal transplant that might help to bring his vision back, but it would also mean eliminating any physical activity that could impact his eye. He and I had conversations over the summer about the, the distinct possibility that he would have to medically retire, that if they were gonna have a surgical procedure, the corneal transplant, that he, wouldn't, he would never get cleared for full participation again. Mole ultimately decided against the surgery, and once clear to play, he recommitted himself to the sport he loved. So I had to spend the summer kind of relearning the game uh, with one eye. Um, and it was hard. Uh, I did it with beach volleyball. Playing with one eye is, is difficult because for volleyball, you, you really do require a lot of depth perception. After the summer, Mole returned to UH where the effects of his injuries manifested in other areas. He was forced to change his major due to the amount of class time he missed because of the injury. He would also have to learn a new position on the volleyball court. Middle block, you only, you only need to, to hit and to block and to serve. You don't have to do much else. So that was the... That was kind of a natural transition to make uh, at this point. Well, certainly, uh, you know, proud of how he's embraced the opportunity and really looking at it as that. You're a volleyball player. That's one thing we preach all the time. So uh, it's been fun to see him uh, improve. It's uh, it is a challenge, but it's it's a challenge that I'm, that I'm willing to take. And there you see the number on Hendrick Moe so far this season. Again, playing in a new position and really not only a new position, but a new perspective on life. He said, you know, there's a lot of athletes out there that get injuries and they're done for their career. He sees it as a blessing that he still has the opportunity, albeit with one eye, to continue playing. Uh, and also, it was very difficult. He's from Norway, so at times it was hard being away from family. His mom actually flew into UCLA helped him through that process. Also, Cindy wrote with the, uh, the athletic department flew up as well. We want to thank her for her help in getting this piece together. But really, a lot of adversity this young man has already had to go through in his career as a Rainbow Warrior. Yeah, it's uh, incredible, the speed of the game and being able to only see with one eye. All righty, we'll take a break. And when we come back, 